Hello guys, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to install the Convergence mod for 2025. It's about 2026 anyway, but basically that. Um, I'd done this video in 2023 because people were having problems um, installing it um, just from the installer, but um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I have the Convergence mod up here, I'll pull this on screen right here. So basically you're gonna go to Nexus mod, right? Right here, I'll have a link for just the base site in the description. You can click on that, it'll take you to Nexus mod. You will need to create an account. So just sign up real quick, real easy. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just look up the convergence. And here we go, we got uh, Dark Souls 3 right here. And basically, you just scroll to down and then go to files and then here we go so they have the installer right here you can do the installer and i would i would say that you probably want to do the installer over the manual but some people do have problems and the the downloader fails and doesn't work and that's why i made the original video so we'll go ahead and show this one then so this is the manual file so you just click manual download and then you click slow download this does take forever. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes to download it. That says up here it's 3.7 gigabytes that it's downloading and you're getting capped right here, right? So it does take a long time, uh, but that is the biggest one that you have to do. So it's like you just download it and then there's no real hassle after that. They do have a low system requirement one. We won't be showing that today, but uh, you could do that if you needed it. Um, but basically, so install that, and then after that is installed, you go to files, and then downloads. I have it right here. You just extract it, open, extract, and then it'll give you this file right here. We're going to need everything in this file, so we'll go and keep that open. And then another thing you're going to need is a crash fix. So this, um, this crash fix basically does what it says it helps the game not crash with the mod installed right so what you're going to want to do is click on the link in my description and it'll take you to a google drive which i have right here it should take you to this page exactly yours might look slightly different you just click on download and we'll let that load i do have it right here but oh, here we go okay so and then it says obviously you can't scan because it's too large you'll just click download anyway it'll download and then we'll open up another downloads thing okay so it should oh hold on let me download it i forgot i had changed it so here we go let me download it save so here we go to the downloads folder it should be right here all uh, right it's right here so this is the crash fix which is a different version of the original exe um okay and then the next step you're going to go to steam then you'll go to dark souls properties installed files browse close that out so now we're here right we're going to go inside of game here is the Dark Souls application. So what we'll do is we'll drag and drop the crash fix in, place the file. Boom, now that's inside. Then we'll go inside of the convergence, go inside and we'll copy. You can drag and drop. I just did control C to copy it and control V. Now, I have already put these in, but um, as you can see, they're all the same, so we'll just replace them. It shouldn't say to overwrite your files, unless you have the Convergence mod already in your, um, your Steam thing, then you'll replace some of the files if there was an update or something like that. But it shouldn't have that prompt if you have not put anything in there. Another thing I will say is that if you have other mods inside of Dark Souls 3 already, it will be kind of problematic for, um, for it to run. It, it could interfere and, and and have problems, right? So we don't want that. So let's see if it runs now. It should run, but and we'll just 
just let it load. Okay. Let this load up. And here we go, the convergence. Beautiful. Play. Yep. All right, so it looks like everything is in working order. So this has worked. Uh, a couple things I will say, close this. A couple things I will say is that um, it does say that you need to have a vanilla save before um, before starting it instead of like creating a new save with the convergence. I have not personally tested that. Um, and I believe that when I did it originally, I didn't have to do that. I just hit like new game and it worked because um, having like an old thing could corrupt your vanilla save. So it's just like, it's, I think it's on a, on a preference thing. So I would try both ways, uh, just do new game first to see if it works and it should work. But yeah, so that's what I would do. Um, another thing, DLCs are required. If you don't have both DLCs, your game will not, it won't work. So you have to have both DLCs and you have to have them installed. I mean, I don't know why you, it wouldn't have them installed, but you have to have both, okay? So you have both and yeah, so that's basically all of the caveats I will say. Um, yeah, so that's basically going to do it for this um, tutorial. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.